So George, Heineken Cup week. What's it like being around Parker Scarlet's on a, a week's sort of preparation up, leading up to Harlequins away this weekend? Uh, we've got a, quite a good intensity of training now. I think we lifted the standards, especially Heineken Cup week. We've got to lift the standards, we've got to match, we've got to rise the level to match teams like we're playing this in these pools. So the atmosphere is right, I think the boys are ready and we just got to have to bring it to the field. And it, the motivation of being sort of told that we're in the pool of death and uh, these, these big big fixtures probably labelled the underdogs. Is that just more motivation for the players? Or I'm Yeah, it's, it, it's sometimes, like I heard an old man always say, the most dangerous dog is always the underdog. So hopefully we can raise that tag and be seen as a team that can actually threaten these big teams. Because obviously the Scarlet seem to be sort of Almost, I would say, from the outside, a transition really in terms of forwards play, a very tight front five. All of that's been very positive for the team, providing that platform. How important is that going to be in Europe for this season? I think we're only going to get tested now. This is this is going to be our test. This is where we have to step up to. If you want to be recognised as a good back, this is this is where we're going to know if we if we're a good back or not against these teams, which are so forward dominated and. They orientate on their set piece, and this is where we're gonna have to step up to it to be recognised as a as a good Scarlets back. Simon's talked about being very close to clicking as a team. Is that how you feel as players? You know, the, some of the accuracy issues just at key times. Yeah, how just close? inaccurate at certain times, and uh, it just shows. And there's a lot of frustration, I think, and it, it just shows that we're inaccurate at some times, and we're not we're not patient enough in certain aspects of the game which we can learn and if we, if we can get that right I, th I think we can start playing positive rugby again. And do you think this team's on Saturday will be evenly matched? I mean they've got obviously got some real threats in the back line as well but with our back line you know there's going to be a fantastic contest there as well. Yeah, it's going to be good running rugby I think our back line can match any back line. It's just it's going to be the forwards that's the main thing it's going to be if we're going to match them and we will match them. Are you thinking ahead to obviously hosting Racing Metro here um, a week's time? Um, fantastic to have, you know, the, the star-studded team coming over from France to, to play them. Are you think have you got one one eye on that? Or no, not? Mm. I'm gonna, we're probably going to take it step for step. We're just focusing on this game, and then the next game, and the game after that. So it's just step by step process. It's not it's not focusing on Racing Metro. We're first going to win this game and start off Europe well. Okay, George, all the best on Saturday. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Okay.